Thomas the Tank's Gin Friends, Stories from Sodor, Episode 6, Percy's Points Problem. Every morning, Percy brings a train of rocks to Nafford Station. He has to go on platform, f but he has to go on platform 4. He always does his job every day, but sometimes he gets sick of going to his same old platform. He sees his friends pull away with trains every day, wondering when he would get to go on the important platforms. So one day, he devised a plan. One day, he asked his trucks a question. When we get to the points at Napper, can you pa can you bump me so I won't have to go on platform four? The trucks, remember the one time they tried to bump Percy before, so they let him. So they easily said yes. Yeah, we will. Good. Percy already convinced his driver to go the other way. And all he had to do was get on to platform one. Ready, Percy? Yeah, driver. Wait a minute, we're on the lo wrong line. Percy, wait. Push him, push him, the trucks. Pushing Percy past platform two collided right into platform one. Percy was very pleased with himself. With himself, the trucks were giggling and laughing. Ha <laughs> ha! We've done it, Percy. You're supposed to be on platform platform four, and you're early. Henry already left with his train. Yeah, I'm sick of going there. I'm gonna go on platform one for once. Wait, Percy. There's a reason we have different platforms. Percy was con confused, but he was about to find out find out why. Although James didn't like taking good trains, he loved taking the milk run in the morning. But that was all about the change. The engines heard a puffing noise on Percy's line. Oh no! See, Percy, I warned you! James is coming on this line! Oh no! Percy cried. Just then, whoa! James cried as he smashed into the brake van. Ah! Percy nudged forward, crashing with his trucks. Oh no, Percy cried. What now? Who derailed me? Who did this? James, who was completely off the rails with milk covered all over him, was very annoyed. What? Are you literally angry at me? This isn't even your platform! You're supposed to be on four! Percy realized what he did. But I, 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 you, <laughs> I'm derailed because of you, Percy! I'm sorry, James. I'll go to help, Toby said. You're lucky I'm not pulling a train. Henrietta's empty. Thank you, Toby. Now I'm blocked, Thomas said. You're, cu you're blocking my track, Percy. And now I can't get through. Which means I'll be late. Which means you and James will be late, too. Ugh. Thanks, Percy. Percy felt ashamed with himself. Edward came with the breakdown train. You know, Percy, you really shouldn't try to pull a stunt like this. Are you and James all right? Yes, James said. Yeah, we're fine. All right, let me get you guys back on the rails, Edward said. You really shouldn't pull a stunt like this, Percy. I I'm sorry, Edward. Percy and James were lifted back on the rails. Percy was not damaged, but James was heavily damaged after running into the brake van and falling straight off the to the ground. Edward put everyone back on the rails, then left. Thanks, Edward, Percy said. Sure thing. Then Thomas left, too. Oh, yeah, and Percy, Mr. Topham Hat was on my platform. So, he saw the whole thing. Uh, oh, no. He said he'd deal with you later. But in the meantime, he wants you to take James to the works, and then you take your stone, then you sit in your shed, then think about what you did. You're in a tough... This is going to be tough for you, Percy. See ya. Bye, Thomas. You know you deserve it, right? Be quiet, James. Well, you do. Deep down, Percy knew he didn't do the right thing. But he knew he was going to have a rough few days with Sir Topham Hat. He pulled away with James, fearing for what was to come next.